our new patch Prosotto Overnight Wild Camp. Last week we had a look around the area and it all looked good. We got some wild edibles in the area, materials for shelter building and firewood in addition to the fatwood and I'm sure upon more exploration of the area we'll find more materials and wild edibles. I did leave a trail camera out throughout the week at the Fox Den so we'll be moving to collect that a little later. As for now I reckon we'll get started on making this patch home for the night. Going to clear the area of any leaf litter and debris but any dry sticks we find we'll keep for kindling firewood later in the evening and once we cleared that area then we'll start pitching camp. So naturally the wind is going to be coming from behind us so we have our Arcturus multi-purpose poncho in lean-to fashion to act as a windbreak there. DPM, MTP, Flectan, no, give me real tree every time. That's my number one choice. As for camouflage, what is your preference? Let me know in the comments. We set up by this tree here that will act as an additional windbreak, fire out front. We should be nice and cozy for the evening. I was contemplating bringing a jungle bag with me today, what with the warm weather of highs of 18 degrees Celsius, but it's not going to stay that way, it's going to drop and keep dropping throughout the night and we're going to be reaching 4 degrees Celsius, so the jungle bag remains in storage. So I was actually out here throughout the week with the metal detector. I started somewhat of a tradition. Each time I find a new area to pitch camp in, I scour it with the MTX and see what it's all about. I found very, very little, few pieces of random metal, nothing significant. Also a good sign that not many people have been here. Now we'll say we go and click the trail camera and see what has been here while I haven't.
So I was waiting for this water to boil, mosquito comes, land straight on me. What with all that stagnant water down there, we're gonna have fun come summer. And I know they've got me a couple of times already, so we're not ready for a fire yet to get that smoke and heat to drive the bugs away. So we're gonna be testing out a theory. So this is what we're after, just some bracken. Apparently if you take the leaves, brush them, and then just rub against your skin, it will repel the mosquitoes. You can also get a piece and put it in your hat. These theories are not proven though, and maybe they will be soon. These beetles are devouring this black alder tree. They're loving it. They're mating, feasting. They got a good life. So the camp set up is about time we started thinking about prepping that fire. And we're gonna be starting that fire from this tree behind us. We're just going to take a sliver of this wood and right here all over this tree you'll see resin. And we're going to basically just scoop up that resin scoop up as much as we can we now have ourselves a little resin soaked tip of wood. It's going to act like a candle essentially, but before we go lighting this up and starting a fire, I never like to leave a fire unattended and there's something I need to go and collect. So let's go do that quick. Being unwell recently, I reckon getting those good vitamins and such is a smart thing to do. So I'm pulling some of these garlic mustard leaves fresh off the stem and these will combine nicely with what we're going to be cooking up. And while we're down here, I just spotted something and I want to show you guys something that everyone should know. Hemlock water dropwort, otherwise known as dead tongue or dead man's fingers. Why? because this plant is extremely poisonous to people and animals. One root has enough toxin to kill a cow. So, stay away from this. So let's crack on with this fire. Just gonna act like a candle once it gets going. And that's gonna burn for a while. Let's get it on the rest of the resin. Pop it in there. the wood. Well, that didn't go as planned.
so that's dinner done, a nice ribeye and garlic mustard baguette. I didn't realize the garlic mustard would just shrink down so small. I should have grabbed a whole lot more than four leaves, but I don't know. Not much of a salad man anyway. So one thing I forgot to mention when scouting out this new area was if it doesn't have a good feel to it, if it doesn't have that positive energy, if it doesn't feel right, chances are it's probably not right. And you don't want to camp in a place that doesn't give off that positive energy. Furthermore, we're also on this hill, so not only does that give us an advantage of overlooking the woodland, but also the fact that cold air sinks. So as minimal as it may seem, it could be a degree or two warmer up here than it would be down there. It's around about dusk now, so around this time I'm prepping for lights out. I want to make sure I've got my head torch on my head before it gets dark, because when it gets dark in the woods, it gets real dark real quick. So we've got our head torch, Seeker Free Pro on the hip, next to the Leatherman, and firelight from the twig stove. The rest of the evening is ours to enjoy, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning guys, I figured we'd come on a little stroll this morning over to this fallen larch. Pick up some of these needles here and make a tea with them. So we've got our water on the boil. I'm just prepping up our needles here on the end of them. You'll notice a little wooden tip we pull that off, get rid of it, and they'll be ready to go in the water once it starts boiling. Now we're gonna add our needles, and we're gonna let them infuse for a good 10 to 15 minutes. Now we're just gonna strain it out. And it's good to go. That's fresh. Very healthy for you as well. It's one of those mornings. Fresh tea, fresh air. Fresh, fresh. So let's talk about the Arcturus multi-purpose poncho a review. We'll be coming on it soon. But first impressions, I am a fan. It is basic. It is missing some additional eyelets to have this poncho truly taut. We're not missing them but they just haven't been implemented. So we may be adding those, making a little modification video maybe. But overall, first impressions, nice piece of kit. It's lightweight, compact, convenient, nice and easy basic shelter for our first solo overnight for a while. Now I'm about ready to strike camp now, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.